Well, the US is on the cusp of the comeback of the century. Donald Trump is firmly in the box seat for the Republican nomination after decisive victories in the Republican primaries to date. Despite four ongoing criminal trials for 91 alleged felonies and a post-presidential impeachment trial, if the election were held tomorrow, the polls say Trump would win. So our question for the jury is, will Donald Trump make America great again? For more, we're joined by University of Sydney Associate Professor Salvatore Babones and Senior Correspondent at the Australian Financial Review, Aaron Patrick. Thank you so much to both of you for joining us. Aaron, we'll start with you. You're a critic of Donald Trump, would you say? You, you, yeah, not, not a big fan of Not a big fan of him. Why do you think he is not what America needs right now? The great problem with Donald, Donald Trump is that he could be in prison and leading the Western world. Now, even if you like Donald Trump, mm. and you can't say he, he everything he did was bad, and even if you think Joe Biden's too old, it's too great a risk to take. We can't have a man leading the Western world who's incarcerated. It is the overwhelmingly most important reason to oppose Trump. OK, it's an extraordinary set of circumstances, you've got to say, uh, Salvatore, because, as we mentioned in that introduction, 91 alleged felonies. How is that going to possibly play out between now and November? Oh, I was asked to prepare an opening statement, and so I'll give it to you. Yeah. The, the 2020 election saved Donald Trump's reputation, because if it weren't for the 2020 election, we would now be blaming him for the disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan, the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the Hamas attacks on Israel, the new war with Iran, runaway inflation, the fentanyl crisis, and the influx of 10 million illegal immigrants. And I guess that's just what happens when you let the adults back in the room. Uh, look, the first step to make America great again is to want America to be great again. But the adults in the room who run America today perish the thought. Donald Trump loves the idea of making America great again. He loves it so much that he put it on a hat and sells it for $40. Okay. He, he that may not, hat, we've seen it all before. He may not do it, but he's sure, sure. going to try. But you don't choose a president based on their hat. Yeah, well, <laughs> you choose him on the spirit. And the spirit of America is the spirit of entrepreneurship. What's the spirit of Donald Trump? Abusing people, uh, inciting riots, um, insulting people? Oh, I don't think it's inciting a riot when your opponents do everything possible to stoke some kind of uh, irregularity in the electorate to try to make things happen. I mean, if you look at the, if you're talking about riots, if you mean January 6, 2021, more and more evidence is coming out that the FBI had a large role to play in that. Now, were the people there genuinely there to have a protest? Sure. Were the people there for a riot? I'm not so sure. Well, see, so this is the issue, because Donald Trump's got that big MAGA supporter base, and a lot of those people believe that this was a witch hunt from the very beginning. How are Democrat voters going to go up against that? A lot of Americans don't trust their legal system, and they believe the, the 91 charges against Trump are politically inspired. The reality is Donald Trump lost the election, and then he said to everyone, I didn't, and let's overturn it. He essentially tried to stage a coup. Now, even if you're a conservative, perhaps especially if you're a conservative, you want to uphold democracy. You don't want populist politicians going around and trying to overturn the vote of the people even if you disagree with it, which is what he tried to do. OK, let's go to the jury. Tom, uh, up the back there. How do you feel about the possibility of a Donald Trump comeback? I don't think it'll make uh, America any any worse than it is at the moment. Um, sleepy Joe Biden's at the wheel at the moment, and that's obviously a big security risk. Yeah, so you're not worried at all? Uh, not worried at all, no. No? And Terry, what does a Trump comeback mean? Well, personally, I don't like Donald Trump. I think he's a pompous buffoon, but... Why is uh, that? Uh, just, just the way he goes on, his, his character and what's happened previously, um, he doesn't seem to care about anyone but himself, although he does want to make America great again, which is good. And I think that he possibly could, because a lot of the voters out there, uh, we see in the primaries and everything, that uh, they, they're rooting for him. So, um, but, um, yeah, so I think he could do a lot of, lot of good, and certainly Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and... Yeah. I can't, yeah. still can't believe that in that large population 
they can't find two candidates. Well, this, this is will be the interesting part <laughs> because, uh, uh, you know, uh, realistically, is Joe Biden the man for the job again? Can he really go another round? Nobody, let's be honest. <laughs> Nobody thinks, or sorry, not many people really thinks that 82 is the ideal age to being elected to very high office. And who knows, the Democrats may, at the last minute, decide to put in a new candidate, and that would probably be for the best. I'm disappointed in the ageism of my debate opponent here. Uh, there's no age that's the wrong age to be president. The issue is capacity. The issue is ability. Donald Trump, you watch his speeches, you watch his rallies. He is in command when he gives those speeches. He knows the facts. He's, he's got them he's at his fingertips. <laughs> He's ready to go. I'm not sure if he's in command of the English language or something else. I'm not <laughs> sure what you're referring to. But uh, clearly, clearly, um, it's hard to argue that Donald Trump is a serious human being. OK, well, look, I mean, there's a lot of time to go between now and November, but right now we want to throw this to the jury because you've both had a great debate on this. But let's call on the jury. You have 10 seconds to deliberate now. Will Donald Trump make America great again? Yes, I think he will. So I'll put my guess. Just make sure I'm doing the right, the right panel, will you? What do you Time is up. What is the jury's verdict? OK, we've got three no's. So therefore, the rest of you believe that Donald Trump will make America great again. Sam, why yes? Well, when he was in last time, he, uh, he uh, got a peace deal in the Middle East with uh, a few Muslim countries mm -hmm. to sign with Israel. Mm -hmm. He's got Saudi Arabia ready to sign a peace deal with Israel. No other president has ever done that. When he was in office for 40 years, yep. he was the first president to be in office without a war. Yeah, mm. well, it'll be interesting to see what he could do in the Ukraine and the Middle East. Uh, Theodora, you were one of only a few who just voted no. Why? I think America should look deep into its population and find two decent men, not the two geriatrics right now that are fighting for the presidency and the beautiful Oval Office. They need a capable young person with political stand and with love from everyone to unite that yeah. great nation. OK, well, whether they can find it or not, I guess that remains to be seen. Salvatore Babones and Aaron Patrick, great to speak with you both. Thank you so much for joining us this evening.